catch in here and let her burn. It's not moving, so we're stuck. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. All right, to catch you guys up, I did get the air tank in. Really having trouble getting these bolts back in because I had to bend these brackets so much to get the tank out. I finally got this one in right here. I had to get a bottle jack and maneuver it in there and pull, push the bottom of the strap up to get the bolt in. So now I've got to go to the other side and do the same thing. All right, I was able to get my other bolt in right there. That one was a pain in the butt too, but it is on. Everything's looking good. Everything's lined up as it should be. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the ends of these, a couple of these, and then get everything hooked up. As you know, I am getting new batteries from a sponsor and we are going to disconnect the 12 volt and the 12 volt system. And we're gonna lose power to most things in the bus until we can get our fix up and running. So hopefully it won't take too long, so. Well, I'm gonna disconnect our main stuff first. Take the load off of them. Uh, from the, uh, let's go straight Jeez. into the inverter. Yeah, it's already flickering. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Is it because it's on shore power, maybe? Probably. The, the 12 volt is hooked to this side. It's not in the fuse. It's about to go. Yep. <laughs> Blackout. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Molly, can you go below and get me my big light with a battery, please? I don't know what you're talking about. The big the light that folds open. Yeah, but I don't know the battery. Just grab a battery. I don't know what happened. The, it's the one that's on one of my drills or it's on the saw or something. Where's your big light at again? Under in my tool bay. Okay. So we have been reduced to temporary lighting as we get the remainder of the 12 volt batteries out of here until we can get the new ones in. All right, we got them all disconnected. There's the cables. Sorry, I, there's a little bit of interference in the filming because of the lighting I'm having to use, but I'm just gonna carry them up out of here and then we will bring our temporary replacement in. All right, as you can see, power is restored. <laughs> And this is our temporary fix. Please don't laugh at us. All we can come up with short term to run the 12 volt. So it's got to last us for a few days till my batteries come in. So we have Nate and Christian coming here from Project Trek for a special project. And um, we're basically going to be installing solar on their fifth wheel. They ended up buying my 12 volt system, my batteries, my inverter, and my charge controllers. Wanted to do away with it anyway, and I was kind of just gonna upgrade my 24 volts. They ordered some product and had it shipped to our house here in Cosby. Well, as you know, our house burnt down last week. So we didn't know that when we ordered it. They had it shipped there anyway. Let me show you what I found when I went to our property today. Pulling up to check the mail, like any normal day. And I look out in the field, and there's this. 10 solar panels sitting in the field. I mean, I guess I'm glad they dropped them off, but I really didn't expect them to leave them in the field. Luckily I swung by and they were still there and I was able to grab them. But yeah, it filled the Jeep up quite a bit. Nate and Christian are in town and we're working on some solar. Uh, right now we're getting the panels prepped and then we're gonna try to get them on the roof today. We can get those mounted today, get every, you know, maybe the lines run. Hopefully tomorrow we can get the batteries installed, get the charge controllers, the inverters hooked up. So I'll show you guys what we got going on right now. He bought the Renergy hardware kits, which are really nice and super convenient. We found it easier to prep them before you put them on the roof. Since you're on the ground, you have a lot more space to work, especially once you start getting multiple ones up there. It gets a little hairy up there trying to work on them. We're gonna try to get them all prepped and then we'll set them on the roof and, uh, I think we, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Don't mind the wind, but we're up on the roof. We got eight of them laid out. They shortchanged him on two sets of brackets, so we're only gonna be able to do the eight right now. We're gonna go ahead and fasten them to the roof. Again, I'm sorry for the wind, it's blowing pretty hard. So we are tearing down. We actually leave tomorrow, so we're gonna tear down this, what, nine week homestead and uh get headed out tomorrow over to pigeon forge so 
kind of show you what we got going on today. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Um, we are just here. I'm dancing to my music, living my best life currently. But I want to show you guys what we did. We are leaving tomorrow. As you guys know, I have been doing the inside of the bus, getting like, look at how clean my closet is, you guys. That's freaking unheard of. I've got the desk clean. I like really deep clean the entire bedroom. Look at that. Look at that. It is blurry, but it's clean. So Ben helped me today. We still have a ton of stuff to do. It's just really crazy around here because we've got the solar going. RVC Travels is here. We are here with Project Trek. We just have so much stuff. Like, we just have so many things going on today. It's a literal circus. We haven't moved since like February 17th you guys and now we are moving tomorrow it's just gonna be nuts it's just gonna be nuts because you know sometimes that's just how life is and we're gonna bring you guys along for it all I better get back to cleaning before I get fired so how is it like having to pack up after being here for a couple months we do have a lot of crap putting up lights I love my lights I'm gonna miss them but we'll put them up at the next spot, right? Oh, wow. Boy, they're weak. So I want some ambiance. Got all of this stuff still left to take care of. We're gonna have to put the dog fence down. We could probably put that up now. Eli's over here picking up his toys. And then we've got all this mess to deal with. At least the inside's clean. I asked her to break her chair down and that's what I got. Hey Molly. This isn't breaking your chair down, honey. Yep, and all that trash I needs know, to come out. Put it up there. I'm doing this. So they just finished up Nathan and Christian's uh, solar job, so I want to show you guys. It turned out really nice. What you think? Oh, I love it. Looks good. Yeah. Everything in there. Looks like a factory install, huh? RV Steve Travels is the man. Why is this one showing bulk and the rest are floating? Well, those are, that's for the panels that we have. There's no solar. Yeah. I got you, I got you. Yeah. Looks good though. Everything looks as it should. Good morning, everybody. It is travel day. I'm really excited because we have not moved in two months, two whole months yeah, yeah. of not moving. And now we're moving. So we're really excited. The dogs are coming go. in. Weezy. Let's go check out here and see what Kyle has going on. We've got to get packed up. What do you, what is, like, what else is left out here to do? Tell me. Put the rugs up and just put all our junk up. Pretty much got everything condensed. So we just got to put it away. Look at all this. We've got ruggables to take in, which I mean, this isn't too bad. We still have a lot left to put away, but. It's not, it's not terrible. Are you ready and packed? You look beautiful. I know, because Jen always tells me that I'm beautiful. You are beautiful. No, no, we're not, we're not done and packed. We're not even done with solar, so. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even gotten there quite yet. What do you mean? We're, you're getting there though. Yeah, I'm almost. I'm pretty proud. We got a lot of ish done in a short amount of time. And now we're just like packing up all this crap and then I gotta tear the bus down and then it's gonna roll. We really have gotten so much ish done. Mm -hmm. We have, like yeah. I'm I'm very proud of all of us for getting it all done. And it's been what, three days? Three days installed solar and inverter in three days. That's not bad. And Nate put all those beautiful panels on top of the roof. They are beautiful. And he sealed them all up real good. He loves his solar. He does. I do. <laughs> He's like, I do. <laughs> All right, I got work to do. Let's go. So we got pretty much everything situated. I cleaned my dash off this morning. She was looking a little nasty. Got my GoPro mounted for you guys. Shoot some in-action footage. 
we got pretty much everything out here straightened up. We got a couple things we got to finish up, but yeah, we'll be ready to go here pretty soon. Doing here, making sure all our breakers are working and everything's powering up right. Fun stuff. Looks like she's ready to go. I think they've been ready for about an hour. We went to go pull out because I was back there trying to record it and the brakes are not releasing. So it's a good thing RVC travels this year. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up a little. That started when he was holding it like that. I'm acting like I know everything about buses. <laughs> I got the window shut on me, so. <laughs> but rightfully so. <laughs> Oh, Steven's shaking his head. Don't buy a bus. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Listen, you know what Molly said? Molly said, I want a, I want a bus like yours, Miss Christian. I said, it's not a bus, it's a fifth wheel. She said, I'll have one of those. She's <laughs> getting ready to light a match in here and let her burn. It's not moving? So we're stuck? Oh my god. Nope, not releasing. Hey, Welcome to what? our life. Guess what? It, it's not releasing yet. No. It will though, don't worry. But it will. Kyle is texting uh, Scott with the bus grease monkey, so we're going to see what he replies. Hopefully he can do like a FaceTime with Kyle to see what's going on because he is an absolute genius. He's the guy that you went and got that other work done from. Yes, we did. We and were there. And he provides all that like monthly support. Yes, yes. So we have not called him yet, but the bus hasn't moved in two and a half months. So I figured that it is what it is. Okay, we checked and we could not find it, but we looked on the internet and a uh, website called Thermo King, California. Seems, uh, is, it, is it a yellow like square mm -hmm. top? Now? Yep, 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 yep. That's exactly yeah, it. Yeah, um, yeah, we definitely couldn't get it. Uh, okay, yeah, we know Napa carries it. We need it, like, today. Um, we're stuck and can't oh, okay. can't release oh, our yeah, brakes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll just we'll just keep figuring something out. Thank you for your help, okay. though. Okay, I am so sorry. All right, thank you. So, they, um, apparently it's a little buttony, thingy, mababi, whatever. Around here in Tennessee, they close on Sundays, most everywhere. Napa, we know, sells them, but Napa is closed. Uh, and then we called O'Reilly Auto Parts, and that was them. They do not have it, but they said they went on the internet and found some, so. What is it? Like, what can you tell everybody what's going on? It's an old bus and the brakes. 